how to make a basic cut and then edit in Avid Media Composer 7. Now in other video editing programs, you may be used to like a razor tool in order to make your cuts. In Media Composer 7, you don't need to go out and grab another tool to make your cut. So we'll just take our playhead and place it wherever we want our cut to be. So I'm going to hit the caps lock so I can hear audio while scrubbing. So hit caps lock. So now I can hear my audio. So let's play through here and see where I need to make an edit. To maybe an orange. That's nice. So it comes up. Okay, so we see right here I'm talking about changing the color palette to like an orange, and I can hear my mouse click in the audio track. Right, right here. So I should be clicking something on the screen, and I'm obviously not. So I'll need to edit my video to match that up. To maybe an orange. All right, so right there is where I'm talking about orange. So I'm going to cut my video right here. So I just have my video one track selected in this case. And then Media Composer, again, we don't need to grab a razor tool. We can simply press the Add Edit button. And you can see we have that Add Edit button right here. And we have one over here. But a better and an easier way would be to map that to your keyboard. So if you don't already have it mapped, come up to Tools and open your Command Palette. So here's our Command Palette, and then we'll open up our keyboard. Go to Settings, and here's Keyboard. So since in Pro Tools, the B key is the Separate key, or the Cut in this case, I've also mapped the Add Edit button to my B key. Now you can map it wherever you want. And to do that, we have our Command Palette open here. For the Add Edit, we'll come here to the Edit, and here's the Add Edit shortcut so we can just grab this and just drop it on any of these keys that we want. I'm not going to do that because I already have it, but that's the basics of how you could set up your own keyboard shortcuts. So we already have our add edit key mapped to B. So I'll close this, have our playhead in the right space. Right there is the click. So I'm going to cut the video here. So I'll just hit B. I made my edit real easy. So now I actually need to adjust the video, you know, so it matches up with the audio. So the way I've been doing this here is make sure you have all of your tools selected. You can highlight this bar that unselects and then do it again. And you should select all your smart tools. So if I just hover over the track, the top, the middle and the bottom, you get different tools. So I say a red arrow and a white arrow, and you can see what these are over here. So that's the segment mode lift over right then you have the extract or splice so different things happen depending on the arrow but what we want is to make an edit so you can see we have the red edit tool that's over right trim and then you have your ripple trim or since i'm a pro tools user i kind of think of this as shuffle mode and also you're not seeing your white roller tool but if you hover right in the middle of your track right between those cuts you see we get our roller so if i just click down and i move my roller over what I'm basically doing is moving the edit point. So I'm extending what we're seeing in this video clip and cutting into what we're seeing here. So I hit control Z to undo that. See if I come right to the edge and the top and I get my red edit tool. So that's over right trim. And if I make a trim with this, so I'll just click and pull it out. And I'm talking about the color orange. So I'll go right to where I click orange. And that's right about there. Then you see now it leaves a gap. That's not really a problem. I can just hold down control, select my clip and move it back. That will snap it right back to where I need it to be. So now when we play through. Maybe an orange, that's nice. So that's not too bad, but we can actually do that a little bit easier. So I'll go control Z and control Z. Now we're back to our clip with just our cut in there. And instead of coming to the top edge, I'm going to come down to the bottom edge of my clip now you see I get the yellow tool, which is, again, the ripple trim. And what I like to kind of think of as the shuffle mode that you have in Pro Tools. So now let's make that same exact edit. So I'll just hover right around that area. I'll click. Now I'm going to start to drag right to where I see me clicking the orange. Right about there. I'm going to go one frame back before I click it. Now release. And now it may look like nothing happened, but let's play back and see. To maybe an orange, that's nice. Perfect edit right there. 
You see everything shuffled back for me, just like in your shuffle mode in Pro Tools. So that's a really easy and quick way to make edits and cuts in Avid Media Composer. No need to go out and grab different tools. Maybe you want to move the clip, so I'll just grab it here with the red arrow, move it out a bit, you know. That's nice. Do whatever you want, and it's all real easy and simple to do right here in Avid Media Composer.